All right, everyone. Welcome to Sean's Vlog, episode number sixty-five. And today we are going to read another Wall Street Journal article titled as "Procter and Gamble Posts Biggest Yearly Sales Gain Since 2006." Pandemic-driven demand for cheap for cleaners, soap, and detergent fueled U.S. gains. Company warns of slower growth ahead. Procter and Gamble, maker of household staples from Tide detergent to charming toilet paper, posted its strongest annual sales gain since 2006, as the pandemic kept world consumers at home and vigilant about cleaning. Demand in the U.S. for cleaning and paper products continued to surge through the spring and early summer, while the reopening of China, P&G's second biggest market. Drove sales there. P&G executives said the company's efforts in recent years to overhaul its health by shedding weaker brands and streamlining what they described as an often suffocating bureaucracy are paying off at a time of crisis. The Cincinnati company's organic sales went up six percent for the fiscal year ended June thirtieth. For the latest quarter, organic sales also rose six percent. P&G predicted more modest growth of 2% to 4% for the current fiscal year, citing high uncertainty around the global economy, especially in developing countries, and a fallout from the new coronavirus. On the on the whole, with the health, hygiene, and cleaning, consumers' needs have changed forever. Chief Financial Officer John Mueller said, "Maybe not to the degree." That's happened recently, but it's hard to imagine we will snap back to the old world. The strongest growth was in P&G's fabric and home care unit, which posted a 14% sales gain, its highest ever. The unit's brands include Tide, along with Mr. Clean, Dawn Dish Soap, and Cascade Dishwasher Detergent. China sales recovered in recent months after sliding at the start of the year, when the country shut down in an effort to contain the, the virus, closed factories, roads, and stores stymied production and kept Chinese consumers from buying. Organic sales in China rose 14% in the quarter and 8% for the full year. P&G has yet to show signs of being negatively affected by the recession, as consumers remain willing to pay higher prices for its products. A question facing the company, given that its products has, are generally more expensive than rival brands, is whether it will fare better in an economic downturn than it did during the last recession, when sales growth plunged to anemic, anemic. Levels and took a decade to recover. The company has worked in recent years to improve offerings for more budget-conscious consumers. We expect that if this gets longer and deeper, people will have to make choices. P&G chief executive David Taylor said, "The good news is that, unlike last time, we have a broader portfolio." Price increases continued to help drive sales gains in the most recent quarter, with sales volumes also growing stronger in recent months. Before the pandemic, consumers proved willing to buy without discounts the more expensive products it has developed. Those price increases continued through the most recent quarter and helped offset losses due to current moves. P&G and its consumer staples rivals, such as Kimberly Clark and Colorex, have cut back on deals and discounts. Also,、uh, as so many of their products, paper towels, disinfectants, sanitizing wipes, are in such high demand that consumers buy whatever they can find. P&G is weaving more into cleaning products, both by chance, by chance, and because of the pandemic. All right, I think that's all for today, and uh, uh, I uh, mumbled several places.、Um, I think for the next section, I will spend more time to practice beforehand.、Um, 
I need to read through the article several times aloud and to make sure that I am aware of how to pronounce each word correctly. And、uh, I try to memorize them if I can. All right, I think that's all for today. Thank you so much for your time. I will see you tomorrow.